Hey everybody, well the stimulus package, the $1.9 trillion stimulus package passed the house this morning, Saturday morning, February 27th, 2021. So we're one step closer to the $1,400 stimulus checks. Everybody's gonna be bloody rich, right? Oh wait, just in. We have a Fed that is not going to allow deflation. They're going to continue to cause rising prices and rising cost of living. Huh, so maybe the $1,400 stimulus checks aren't gonna do much good after all. Darn, I was hoping these checks were gonna save the economy. All right, but seriously, here's what's in the package and we're gonna talk about the likelihood of the Senate passing these and talk about when the stimulus checks should be sent out if it does get finalized and passed by the Senate. Oh, and will there be a $15 minimum wage? We're also gonna talk about that. Okay, this is called the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021, and it's gonna deliver new stimulus payments and extend 400-hour weekly unemployment benefits until the end of August. Okay, it includes language that's going to gradually increase the minimum wage to $15 an hour, but this will that part of it will likely face strong opposition from the Senate. And it could be removed because it may not meet certain rules that apply to uh, the way that this bill is being passed. All right, so they're trying to pass this with less votes than normal, so that might shoot down the minimum wage part of this package. But the stimulus checks, let's talk about those. Okay, these checks, $1,400 per person, would go to families earning up to $75,000. Or I should say individuals making $75,000. But couples filing jointly would get $2,800, two $1,400 checks, and they can make combined up to $150,000. Now, if you make more than those limits, you'll still get a check, but it's gonna reduce the amount of the payout that you'll get, right? And on top of this, another $1,400 would be sent out for each dependent of the tax filer. So a family of five would get $7,000. Okay, so there are still some roadblocks, but the deadline is March 14th. So will they get it done? We'll have to see. Now the March 14th deadline is when the current jobless benefits are set to expire. So if this doesn't pass, you could see big problems with a lot of people that are gonna lose their unemployment benefits. All right, now let's talk about a part of this bill, the $15 an hour minimum wage. So if this passes as part of the bill, it's gonna bump up the minimum wage gradually. But $15 an hour is going to be a problem for many small businesses. And we talked about this recently, but let's touch on it because here's a Business Insider article that talks about Walmart. I worked at Walmart for 20 years and can't afford a doctor. Congress needs to pass $15 an hour minimum wage now. So you see people like this, they're working for a corporation that makes billions. And a lot of people would say yes, uh, Walmart and companies like Walmart, huge multinational um, profitable mega corporations should pay a living wage. But then when you apply this blanket minimum wage law to all businesses, including the small mom and pop shop or the uh, individual business owner who's barely struggling to get by, then you have big problems. And you've probably seen this statistic before that nine out of 10 businesses fail. So Forbes.com right here, 90% of 90% of startups fail. Here's what you need to know about the 10%. And some estimates put it at even higher, 96% of businesses fail within 10 years. This is out of Inc.com. Right, so you see that it's not easy to start up and maintain a small business. And yes, the $15 an hour wage is something that most of us agree these mega corporations can pay, especially companies like Walmart, and according to this article, she's not even getting medical benefits, right? But sometimes a broad brush approach is not always the best thing. And that's typically what we see with lawmakers. They typically just pass a bill and the lawmakers, they think they know best and it's a broad bill, but they usually don't think about all the intricacies in different businesses and their ability to pay these wages. And I'm wondering, these lawmakers that are looking at this, uh, passing this $15 an hour minimum wage, if they pass it, I'm wondering if they even know the statistic 
that about nine out of 10 businesses fail. I wonder if they even know that. Or are they just concerned about their own paycheck and their own career? I think my guess would be the latter for that. All right, so let's move on here. Stimulus check timeline. Let's take a look at when these checks might be getting mailed. All right, here is the answer to that question. The first round of these third set of stimulus checks, this will be the third package or third stimulus check, but the first round of these checks would go out in early April. So by mid-April, people could start seeing checks showing up in their accounts. Now here are some possible delays. If the Senate makes more changes, the bill would then have to go back for a House approval again. So that could delay it. So at the earliest, at the earliest, this is just my expectation here, my timeline, mid-April at the earliest. Could something happen to delay it way into the future, months and months? Absolutely, it's possible. Um, there's a lot of people depending on these checks, so hopefully they'll go out sooner rather than later. Uh, will they fix the problem of debt and inflation? And will they fix this economy uh, built on just debt and lending? No, but it's going to help a few people get by maybe for a little while. Now, in a similar fashion on what we see with the minimum wage, where it's going to hurt some businesses and actually drive some small businesses out of business, while other times it may not really hurt the business at all when you look at Walmart, Maybe it'll even help them. Maybe it'll help retain employees and their bottom line will grow because of the lack of turnover. You just never know. But the stimulus checks are also going to be a very uneven outcome or uneven result. So some people will get these checks that don't need them. They're just going to use them for maybe putting into the stock market or putting into some other investments or just maybe not spent to put away in savings because they don't need them. Other people, the checks are spent before they even receive them. And these are the people that are under the moratoriums right now, the foreclosure preventions, people that just need to try to pay off some debt, and they may get these checks, pay off debt with them, their check's gone and they still have debt, right? And maybe instead of uh, 40 people camping out under the overpass this month, maybe it'll be 39, you know? So maybe it'll help a little bit, but uh, we know these stimulus checks are not the solution when we have an inflation monster an inflation monster behind the scenes, keeping most people in debt servitude until their very last breath. That's pretty sad, but that's what we're living under right now. Thanks everybody for watching the support. Hope you're doing good this weekend. Stay well, stay safe, stay prepared. Bye for now. Peace.